Hitler, you know, you can understand how there might be one nut that would want to kill all the Jews, but how do you get all these people to agree with you? These guys are untouchable. This is the problem. And, uh, that's where investors who have been abused become quite shocked to find out that abuse is tolerated. Cost to me, I mean, it's, it's been extremely difficult on my family. There was a separation for uh, a week in this past March. And need a justice system for the person who's wiped out. And it needs to work quickly, it needs to uh, uh, give credence to the person who is the victim and it leads to a the violence of white collar crime. And we have to deal no. with the violence at the personal level. I was told we are not going to investigate your mother's case. She's 90 years old, she could be dead within the year. You have to realize investigations are expensive and we have to get the best bang for our buck. This is one of the fallacies. I trust my investment advisor. I got to a point where I couldn't sleep and I couldn't eat. <laughs> and I couldn't hardly concentrate on my work. And I went on for about two years. And they're a very powerful part of the business community. No one can stand up to them? I think people have tried. Do we have to tell people that they can no longer trust you. And that's fundamentally wrong in our society because our society is based on trust. Where would you be if you couldn't trust the school bus driver to take your kids to school? This country wants the good of the people. If they really want the good of the people, they're going to have to do something to help those that have the courage to step forward with evidence. Maybe stop being bystanders? Yes. Those who have run into problems have become aware through a painful experience or route. Those that are unaware are the ones that read the paper and believe what they read on the front page, the globe, the post, the star. The financial health of Canadians uh, is equal to the financial health, or your physical health. Yes. Uh, I don't think there is a Canadian who would support uh, the pharmaceutical industry being responsible for the approval of its own drugs. When his father learned that he'd lost all his savings, he committed suicide. And they are psychopaths. They are. And you cannot legislate these people out of existence.